Are you an eco printer interested in learning how to replace traditional powdered mordants with homemade rust water? Do you know what rust water is? Do you know how to make it? And would you like to see two garments that I have recently upcycled using the power of rust water to create beautiful prints? My name is Nicola Brown and I live at Clasheen in rural South East Ireland. I'm developing a sustainable textile practice where I work in an environmentally mindful way and grow my own plants which I use in the eco printing and natural dye pot. During this short video I share with you what homemade rust water is, how to make it and share one of the many uses for it in the textile studio. Let's go. Traditionally, powdered mordants have been used through the centuries to help fix natural dye color on fabric. Common mordants to use would be aluminium sulfate or ferrous sulfate. These are powdered metal salts and there are health and environmental implications of using them. Of course you can be careful and safe in the studio and wear a mask and limit your exposure to these powders. However, whenever possible I like to make my own homemade rust water and substitute that in the eco printing that I do. Homemade rust water is a solution that can be used in multiple ways in the studio and it can also be made in a couple of different ways. I like to keep a pair of gloves dedicated for when I'm working with this rust water otherwise my hands will get very stained and I may get a strange taste in my mouth. There are different ways of making iron water. The simplest is just to add water to a cast iron pot and leave it. The longer it brews, the stronger it becomes. If you add vinegar into the mix, it hastens the process and the rust water becomes stronger faster. If you don't have a cast iron pot, add water, vinegar and iron to a bucket. And if you want to make something really quickly, if you boil your water, vinegar and a chunk of metal, in an aluminium or cast iron pot for an hour, you will dramatically hasten the process. This is what I do when I'm facilitating workshops where the workshop organizer may not have any rust water of their own made. If you find you're getting value from this video already, please hit the subscribe button and tap that bell to be kept up to date with future videos. Rust water, or you could call it iron water, is wonderful for helping achieve beautiful prints on cellulose, which is plant-based fabric. Fabric like cotton, linen, ramy, etc. And here I am dipping one of my old linen tablecloths into the mixture. It looks revolting at this stage, but no need to worry. Not every sort of vegetation will give good prints using this method, but I know from experience that blackberry leaves and rose bay willow herb are two of the best. I also need some other um, items in the studio, such as pipes, potentially to roll on, string, scissors, a towel. For my old Irish linen tablecloth, I just laid out a selection of blackberry leaves and decided to roll up on a cast iron pipe. You may note that some of the leaves are up and some of the leaves are down. They give a different print from the front and the back of the leaf. Once my bundle is rolled up very tightly, I decide to add a few blackberry leaves on the outside underneath the string. These will also print and give interesting marks on the finished piece. 
when it's all rolled up and tied really tightly, the bundle is then ready to pop into the eco printing pot. My old gardening smock was a garment that I wished to upcycle. In fact, this particular one came from a relative and it had some stains on it and it was looking rather sad. I used a selection of rose bay willow herb and blackberry leaves on this piece and working with garments and folding them in different ways to achieve pleasing results is something I share during online workshops. Once my pieces are bundled and tied very tightly, it's time to pop them in the eco printing pot. I cannot express enough how much I enjoy looking at them before they head into the hot liquid. I take care putting the bundles into the boiling pot liquid. This particular method that I'm using here, I call a dirty pot. It's an aluminium pot with more vegetation and rusty pieces in the pot liquid. But again, that's something I share during my online workshops, the actual full composition of what I use. When the bundles come out, they look rather <laughs> drab and dreary. You can see them steaming here. But once the bundles are opened and the prints are revealed, it's quite extraordinary the magic that's within. Here's a little time lapse video of me unbundling the Blackberry printed vintage Irish linen tablecloth. You can see how successfully the leaves have printed. When upcycling fabric or garments using rust water, the pieces always look quite dull when they come out of the pot. This darker background colour on the left here, for example, these are linen trousers, white trousers that I'm actually wearing uh, at the start of this video. And here's the, the smock. The background colour looks quite dark, but once the fabric is really washed and I neutralise with bicarbonate of soda to prevent the rust water eating into the fabric, the end colours are very, very much paler. Here you can see the trousers with beautiful purpley black prints from the blackberry leaves and the rose bay willow herb. I love the texture of the lace at the edge of the little tablecloth or tray cloth and the randomness of the blackberry prints for me is very appealing. For the garden smock you can see how the background color is now almost a pale green, which was the original color of the garment. And I love the nature of the rose bay willow herb. It gives great movement in the piece and the blackberry and willow herb seems to combine very well together. To be kept informed of upcoming online and in-person workshops, please register for my workshop mailing list. The link is in the video description below and I'll be uploading videos regularly to my YouTube channel about growing your own natural dye and eco printing plants, about eco printing itself and about felt making. So if these are things that might interest you, please consider subscribing to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Over and out from Clashine.